Okay, this is the Sony Alpha 6000 camera and this video is about white balance. What is this white balance thing and how to use it? So white balance is all about colors, color accuracy. For example, the object which is in front of me, that's a paper and depending on the light source, that paper might look yellow or it might look bluer and that's because the incandescent light bulbs generate a yellower color or fluorescent lights generate a more bluer color and that color goes onto that paper and from that paper is reflected back into the camera and you might capture that slightly modified color and you might not be able to correct it in post-processing Okay, so to avoid these problems and to record white as white or red as red or blue as blue, then you should first calibrate your camera to tell the camera which color is white in reality. So to do that, let's go, let's say, to manual mode here. It's working in S, A and P also, but let's go to the menu press the menu button, come to the first icon and then go to the fourth page of this menu and here we have white balance so enter white balance with the middle button and here we have a few presets on the left side the first one AWB it's auto white balance and the second one is daylight what is the difference between auto and daylight Auto is whiter, daylight is yellower. So that's already a preset, a modification in colors. Shades, that's even yellower than daylight, as you can see. Okay, and so on. We have this one, incandescent, which is much more bluer. So every color is being modified but by that setting. Okay, we can go further. We have some more settings and this one with the K on it that's from Kelvin. Kelvin is for color temperature. For example here if we go to the right by pressing the right key we can adjust it between 9900 Kelvin which is a warmer color, yellower color to 2500 Kelvin which is bluer much more colder. So this is a colder shade that's a warmer shade or tone. Okay you can adjust it in smaller increments also. Okay and above these adjustments you can make some other modifications. If you notice this arrow you can go to the right also and these are even more adjustments. So you can even color the entire photo or video with these, you can move that dot and notice that the photo or video will get more red. So now I wrote it down and it's between magenta and uh, what's A? I don't know what's A. Green, blue, and amber. I think it's amber. Okay, if I go up there, then it's yellow. If I go to the left, then it's blue, not blue, green and so on. Now it's blue. Uh, if I accept it with the middle button then I will use the Kelvin adjustments 9900 plus the B7M7 that is the color that I just gave. I can access the white balance from here from the function button also and go here to this white balance. Okay and let's go down we have a custom preset as you can see here custom there the pre custom presets will be saved and this one which has set on it that allows me to set my own custom preset and now notice here there's a circle in the middle and if I take a picture in this setting onto a red white or blue area then it will adjust the camera according to that color. So this circle, this one in the middle, should be pointed to a white surface 
white piece of paper is pretty good it's not the best option but even a white wall is acceptable if you don't have anything else so just press the middle button and now the camera captures a photo that photo is not stored and every picture and photo will be according to this uh, color preset 5000 Kelvin plus the amber and blue which is set to zero green and magenta is set to M4 okay we can accept this one and now it's pretty color accurate or if we don't like it we can go back to let's say that one or we can get white balance from the menu and set it back to auto white balance okay let's make an example I will shoot a video let's take um, this one incandescent now everything is bluer if I press the video button and move it around it's a recording and the video will be bluer let's stop the video let's go ahead back to the white balance and this time let's choose a yellower one let's say this one shade and shoot a video in this format and now this one will be much yellower compared to the previous one okay stop the video if i play back the video we can see the difference between this one and this one this one is much bluer than the other one it's the same thing the same white paper but the colors are totally different so that's how you can adjust your white balance on this sony a6000 camera depending on your light source you have to adjust the white balance auto function might work but it's not 100 percent guaranteed so you should correct it if needed okay that's it thanks for watching and bye bye